guys, it's me Mariam and welcome back in another video. Um, well that's my old intro, but um, yeah, this is a video that has been highly requested and I'm gonna do it because, to be honest, I'm kind of bored and I don't know what to do because there are like not really any gotcha trends going on right now. So basically I'm gonna be showing you guys how I, the apps, well, like how to use the apps that I, does that make sense? No. How to, Okay, what's the question? What apps do I use to make my videos? Right, that, that's it. Like, how I edit, but not really how I edit, because I don't really... Oh my god, I'm just making this so confusing. So basically, um, I, used, I used to use two apps, right? I used to use VSDC, but then I felt that was kind of complicating, and I told you guys it was complicating, but you guys still kept asking, and I told you I was using VSDC. It is kind of hard. It's really, really hard. It's like, you know how there's like two cars, one's automatic, one's manual? This is a manual car. It's a car, guys. This is a car. Yeah, so, you have to technically do everything yourself. So, I don't know, it won't make sense. But you guys, this is one of the apps I use, but then I got a new one, and it's called Demora, and basically, it's simple, it's easier. It's everything. Like, it's an automatic. These are the blurry things that you guys keep asking me, like, um, how to do that kind of transition thing. Um, oh my god. I'm just gonna show you quickly because someone said this was very hard to do, so let's just do that. And see there. there we go. That's the blurry cross, cross, blurry roll that you guys have been asking. So that's how you do it because I do it a lot in my videos. So yeah. As for VSDC, you go up here and you click on image there and then you go to documents and you get your images and they're there, they're there, they're there, they're there. That's how you do that. Yeah. And to be honest, this is not really, it's not really used for gotcha videos, but I was really desperate and I used it. So yeah. So yeah. Cause like the transitions there and stuff, you have to like make them yourself and they take forever. Not to mention that there's also a pro version and that is way better than this version, but it costs like 200 or something and it was not worth it. So yeah, and like this only costs like what, 50 something? I don't know. But yeah, that's how you do that. And also, some people don't know how to download Gotcha Life. Um, so yeah, you get it here, unime.itch.io or something. That's where I got it. You download it and it's free. Okay, it asks for if you want to pay with money, but you don't have to. Just like, there's a tutorial on YouTube. You guys can check that out. And then for my thumbnail, I use this. And yeah, I use Photor. It's f completely free. Like, honestly, I thought this was one of the best, but... It's, I found I found a different one. I found a better one, but it's amazing. Honestly, every like I've searched high and low, literally looking for a thumbnail maker. That like that was a year ago, okay. But now it's kind of easier. Like there's lots of them nowadays, okay. So you just import your picture and then you like do that. But like this one, I don't really use it anymore. I use Pixlr. See, I don't know if this is free. I don't know if there's a catch or anything, but this is completely the best like it's amazing i don't know if it's free or not because i didn't have to pay or anything it's just you just you don't even have to download it you just open it and then you can do whatever you want and there's no watermark like it's one of one of the best but i don't know if it's free or not because it's like one of, it's too good to not be free that's what i'm trying to say but yeah that's what i use for my thumbnail anyways so yeah i don't know if i'm done i think i'm probably missing something Hope not, because I'm not going to do a third part three or something, but yeah, that's the video for you. I'm probably going to edit this video with Wondershare for more though, just in case. I don't know why I told you that, that but yeah. yeah. So that's it for the video. Thanks for watching, and if, I don't know, it's a tutorial, if you, if you liked it, you liked it, it didn't help, it didn't help, but yeah. Bye guys! Wait!
Hey guys, I forgot to say that, um, I forgot to tell you that I used Bandicam to screenshot and record. I don't think I said that in the video, but if, if, I, if I didn't, if I didn't, if I did, um, oops, and if I didn't, well, um, I see some people use Snipping Tool, and, um, it's, it just, Bandicam saves you the trouble, because all you have to do is just, like, um, press on the hotkey, and it'll just take the screenshot, like, the screen goes yellow, like, my hotkey is 7, and oops, okay, no, that, my hotkey is not 7, I just turned off the video, my hotkey is 9, I mean, I click on 9, um, there's like a yellow screen around this, there's like a yellow thing around the screen to show that it took a screenshot, so yeah, that's what you do, you don't have to use snipping tool all the time, because it saves you a lot, like, snipping tool, it takes forever to take, like, one screenshot, like, look, um, here, and then you have to, like, get the whole screen as well, like, bro, like, and then you have to save as and stuff like that, like, it saves you way more trouble, like that, you just press, press your hotkey, you can change your hotkey if you want to, my image, like, I just press 9, and then it is, where is it? Here, sorry, it's here, it's here. <laughs> okay, so yeah, yeah. Now, yeah. Bye. <laughs>